Add some slight delays on piano notes to make it more realistic and interesting. Having one same note on every chord in the progression can make it sound more cohesive. Record sounds in real life. Add ambient sounds in the tonic note of your scale to fill up space. Flanger effects can make pretty cool sounds. Make your lead more interesting by adding different lead sounds. Pianos almost always have too much muddy frequencies, reduce it. Drink coffee. It's good for you. Quick volume automations can sound pretty cool. Listen to your mix on both loud and low volume because your mix will sound different on different volumes. Check out the Fletcher Munson curve for why. Using loops, presets and samples are not cheating. If you think that, read this. Make sure you're not uh, nipper producing. <laughs> Place your monitors at ear height to hear your mix properly. Break quote unquote rules. For example, Kashmir added a freaking delay to a kick in a track and it sounded awesome. One of the more novel tricks that I used on the song was to actually put a delay on the kick. Add EQ after saturation because saturation adds harmonic frequencies. And as a pro producer, I gotta say, man, you need to tune your kick. Shut up. A kick is like a, a transient thing. Or maybe not. Uh, for real low, do whatever sounds the best. Increase the reverb in your buildup for more tension. Reduce the stereo width in your buildup for more contrast. Get a lot of feedback for your music. There are a lot of great communities on Reddit, Discord, Facebook, etc., where you can get endless feedback for free. Try humming your melodies. <laughs> get more interesting bass lines by jumping in octave. If you like the tips in this video, subscribe for more. Time, in my opinion, will be the most important asset in your entire career and your entire life because you will never get it back. So be fucking time efficient in everything you do. For example, have a folder where you save your favorite sounds. Have a specific folder for your favorite sample packs. When you get a project you want to finish, organize and color it. Do you like a certain effect chain you made for a lead? Save the entire effect chain and use it later. Learn the most essential shortcuts for your DAW so you work faster, especially the shortcuts for the piano roll since that's where you'll spend a lot of time. Also, Control S is a great shortcut. Back up everything you've made to an external hard drive. Seriously. Don't know how to make music in a certain genre? Download project files on the genre and study how it's made. Download my sample pack, it's free. Remember that silence is also an instrument. Even super aggressive songs needs kind of silent parts to give contrast to the aggressive parts. Less is more, sometimes, uh, at, at least. Reverse sounds for more natural transitions. For transient heavy instruments, add pre-delay to the reverb for a cleaner transient. Next time you're layering, instead pick widely different sounds and you might come up with something completely unique. Finish a large quantity of projects rather than just a few high quality projects you have. Because studies have proven you become better and learn faster by doing that. Try out all the different stock plugins you've never used, you'll be surprised what you can find. If your drums sound boring and flat, test adding some swing. Use distortion as a sound design effect. Add pitch slides to your leads. White noise can add fullness and excitement. Did you love the chord progression in another song? Seal it. Did you love the rhythm in another song? Seal it. Did you love the melody in another song? I'm kidding, <laughs> don't steal melodies. But maybe study how it was made and take inspiration. Collaborate. Get really freaking good at just one synth instead of trying to learn multiple different synths. Before you open your DAW, think of a theme for your song and try to pick a sound palette that fits it. Make your own unique presets. Fine tune the note length and your music will sound a lot better. <laughs> Thank you.
add weird sounds to make your music more unique. Instead of using an entire loop, consider using multiple loops and split them up so you get your own unique loop. Instead of adding more and more sounds to every part of your song, maybe remove sounds instead to make the next part of your song more interesting. Writer's blog isn't real. The reason you think you have writer's blog is that you have a need for perfection. You can always write trash music. Put drum samples off a beat to make it more interesting. Try to remake your favorite songs, it's a great way to learn. Use atmospheric sounds you can barely hear to make it more interesting. Group similar tracks into one buzz, then add effects to that buzz and all those tracks will sound more unified. You don't need expensive equipment or plugins to make professional quality music. If you know how to balance your mixes with volume and panning, and also how to properly use the EQ, reverb and compression, you will know everything you need to make professional quality mixes. Your best mixing tool is your volume faders. Practice. You will like a sound more if it's louder. So if you're unsure if an effect actually makes your sound better, make sure the volume is the same when you turn it on and off. If you're still unsure, close your eyes and spam the bypass button so you don't know if it's on or off. Then start comparing again. And you made the fairest comparison ever. Sound selection is way more important than mixing and mastering. If you pick high quality sounds, it will almost sound professional before the mixing and mastering stage. Use reference tracks when you're mixing and mastering. Watch master classes from other successful producers. Add fades to remove pops and clicks. And yeah, that's 69 tips. Also, if you want to learn everything you need to produce electronic music in seven days, feel free to check out my new course, Seven Day Music Producer. Link in the description. Thanks. Bye. Bye.